Hi, and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that may link with the summer transfer move to Arsenal. Um, don't forget, you can watch or listen to this show on all your streaming platforms. Just um, choose whichever one. You can listen to me um, as a podcast or you can watch the video. Um, so make sure you check that out. And also, you can choose to uh, watch this video in Spanish, right? So... The wonders of AI, me speaking sp perfect Spanish is absolutely unbelievable. But if you speak Spanish, you can check this out in perfect Spanish. So do that um, right now. Um, first of all, before I get into the room, I've got to say congratulations going out to Jakob Kivior, who scored for Poland yesterday um, in their historic 1-0 win over Germany. So well done to Jakob Kivior. Um, that's certainly going to be a confidence booster. And another good game for Saka. Playing for England, England demolished Malta. Saka played the first half, played really well, but came off at half time with a suspected injury. I think it was just precautionary, um, but a good game for Saka. But what about the transfer rumours? The market is hot enough, and Arsenal are at the forefront of it. The most talked about club at the moment in the transfer window are Arsenal, making big moves so far. Um, and it's been really, really good to see. Not used to this. Used to like five, six years ago, you know, I mean, Arsenal not even getting involved until like the last day. Um, but things have changed around Arsenal. And I really do like the way in which we're going at the market aggressive, aggressively and looking for the targets that we want and trying to get them. Um, link today with Romeo Lavia. I spoke about him a couple of days ago, um, the excellent Southampton midfielder. Remember, he came down to the Emirates when they got that 3-3 draw against us. And I have to say, he bossed the midfield that day. I was so impressed with him. I was like, 19. He's aggressive. He's quick. He's skillful. Great passing. Really, really top player. Now, a host of clubs linked with him, Chelsea, Manchester United, and now Arsenal said to be in talks with Lavia. Um, Lavia, who has the same agent as uh, Saka, so that will help things. And Arsenal in talks with him about the possibility of signing him. Now, I think this would represent great business by Arsenal if they were to, say, get Declan Rice and Lavia. We've seen the price for Caicedo. We know Arsenal were interested in him. But as I said uh, yesterday, you know, Brighton at the moment demanding 100 million um, for him, 100, between 100 and 120 million. That's what their owner, Tony Bloom, says uh, uh, Caicedo's worth. And you can't, can't blame him, really, because he's seen that Declan Rice is going for similar amounts. He's trying to get the maximum amount of money for his player. So this would represent a good bit of business for Arsenal for a player that ceiling is very, very high. Really does fit the profile of what Arsenal are trying to do. Now, the reason why Arsenal and Chelsea and all these clubs are trying to move quickly on Lavia is the fact that he's got a buyback clause inserted into his contract um, with Southampton. He was previously a Manchester City player. Pep Guardiola loved him, but just at the moment, he couldn't get into the uh, midfield. <laughs> and that's not an easy thing to do of Manchester City. So they sold him, but he inserted this £40 million uh, buyback clause. Um, that, though, doesn't come back into... That doesn't come into effect until next season. So and next at the end of uh, the season that's coming up, City would be able to come in and they would have first refusal and be able to buy Lavia back. So that's why you see a lot of teams trying to move to get him um, into the club. Arsenal, in talks with him, as I said, um, price is going to be around about 40 million, even though his valuation at the moment is around about 25. But with so many different clubs after him, there's clubs abroad looking at him as well. He is going to go for a high fee, but represents a much, you know, better value and cheaper than going to, say, for instance, get Caicedo and Rice. So let's see how this one works out. As I said, talk, talks are ongoing. Southampton, as we know, are um, relegated, so they're going to want to move him on. He's going to want to move on. This is a year where, you know, if you're a player and you're an international, he's a Belgium international, and you want to get into the team for the Euros next season, you want to be playing in the Premier League or at the highest level. You don't want to be playing in the Championship. No disrespect to it. So let's see how that one works out. But Arsenal said to be in talks with Romeo Lavia over a move 
to the club. They're also still in talks with West Ham about trying to get the deal done for Declan Rice. We know about the previous £80 million uh, bid that Arsenal put in, which was rejected, and the add-ons and stuff like that. I mean, I did a video with the guys from West Ham Fan TV. you got to watch that. Um, it's coming out later on today. They were fuming about that initial bid. Now, Arsenal said to be going back uh, with another bid of around about £100 million. West Ham looking for £120 million. It's not going to go to as high as that but it does look like it's a deal that can get done. Now, again, Manchester City hovering. And when Manchester City City are hovering around, you better move fast because if they come in, it's problems. So Arsenal looking to get this tied up as soon as they possibly can, get Declan Rice in for a pre-season once he's done his holidays, etc. And then, you know, hopefully fly into the new season with him in that midfield. So, Talk's still ongoing, and I'm being told that the talks are positive as well. So that's good to know. Hopefully, we can get this deal for our number one target done. We've seen over the last couple of windows that we've missed out on our number one targets. Let's see if we can get this one for Declan Rice done. And it'd be huge for Arsenal um, for this season. There's also Kai Havertz, of course, of Chelsea. We know that Arsenal have been very interested in him. Well, yesterday, they put in a bid of £55 million for him. That bid was rejected uh, by Chelsea. Chelsea looking for around about £75 million, which they're not going to get. The previous bid of £50 million, which was put in by Real Madrid, was rejected. They've rejected £55 million. There's a lot of talk that £60 million gets it done. Um, so again, Arsenal trying to move fast on this one to get this done. Seem to be the only team in town really now trying to get this deal done because Bayern Munich have kind of moved back from the deal. So fully expect really for Arsenal to get this done. And it does look like Kai Havertz is going to become an Arsenal player, um, but still a little bit of work to be done on the fee. But first bid rejected. Expect Arsenal to go back in with a second bid to get this one done. Now, we're being linked with another player today from, um, well, when I say from Germany football. I mean, because Kai Havertz was previously played over in Germany in the Bundesliga, actually played for the same club as this guy, uh, Bayer Leverkusen, before he moved to Chelsea. And that's Moussa Diaby. Moussa Diaby, no stranger to being linked with Arsenal. The 23-year-old uh, Frenchman has been linked with Arsenal before. Indeed, in um, 2022, it was said that Arsenal put in a bid for uh, Moussa Diaby, which was rejected by Bayer Leverkusen. Now, it does look like he could be on the move this summer, uh, valued at around about £50 million. There's several clubs interested in him. Newcastle have been chasing him now for the last couple of windows and have been very, very interested in signing him. But there's a report coming out of Le Keep, the French publication, where they're saying that Arsenal are in pole position to sign Moussa Diaby. Um, He'd be a great backup or... This is not even backup. Great competition to Saka. Um, he's had some impressive seasons for Bayer Leverkusen. Um, last season, nine goals and nine assists. The previous season to that, 13 goals and 12 assists for the right winger. Um, very, very impressive stats. And as I said, it'll be expensive because there are clubs chasing him. Newcastle said to be one of those um, right at the front, but Arsenal said to be in pole position, according to Lekeep. I'm not sure about this one. I mean, listen, it would represent a great signing. As I said, we've been in for him before, but surely if we're getting Havertz, Reese Nelson signing a new contract, I just can't see the Moussa Diaby one. I just can't see it. He can play on the right-hand side, as we know. We've got Saka there. He can also play on the left. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to see it. But surely, I mean, unless we're shipping out a few players in that area, like, you know, surely that would be the end of Eddie and Ketia and and players like that. Let's wait and see if that one turns out to be true. Although there is an Arsenal player that does look like will be on the move this season, and that is Fullerin Balogun. Um, Had an excellent loan spell last year over there at Rams in France. He scored 21 goals in the season, ripped it up in the French League, uh, made his debut for the USA uh, during the week. 
everything's on the way up for this kid. It really is on the way up. Now, Gazzetta della Sport over there in Italy reporting that Inter Milan are very, very interested in signing uh, following Balogun. I'm um, Inter Milan, of course. Um, they're losing Edin Dzeko. He's on the move. Uh, Lukaku's returning back to Chelsea. So they are going to need a striker. There's even been talks uh, or, or rumours going around that uh, Latura Martinez could move on as well. So they're definitely looking for a striker and said to be very interested in signing Balogun. Balogun will be open to a move. He doesn't want to go out on another loan move. Um, I think the only way he stays at Arsenal, if he gets guarantees, really, that he's going to play, which, you know, He's got Jesus there, Trossard's in now as well. I I think he will be sold this summer. I really do think he's going to be sold this summer. And it does look like uh, the front runners at the moment are Inter Milan. Inter Milan, um, very interested in him. Arsenal said to want around about £35 million pounds plus add-ons minimum for Balogun, which will take it up to around about £40 million. Let's keep an eye on that one. I'd be very surprised if by the end of this transfer window, Balogun is still an Arsenal player. And um, Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Now, Ainsley Maitland-Niles, of course, um, been at Arsenal since he was a little kid, come all the way through the academy. He was one of 10 players released yesterday by Arsenal. Um, he left the club, um, and it's uh, very sad to see him go. But listen, he's had, a, he's had a good little career at Arsenal. Won the FA Cup with Arsenal, still only 25 and got a chance to go on and still do really, really good things. So wishing all the best to um, Ainsley Maitland-Nars, who leaves Arsenal Football Club officially yesterday. One of 10 players released and wishing them all the best, all those 10 um in trying to get clubs and going ahead in the future. So those are the rumours for today. Don't forget, we keep you updated with any bit of breaking news here on AFTV throughout the day. So uh, keep it locked here. Keep those notifications on. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to know what the transfer rumours are. And every day we are here right throughout the summer, right up until the 1st of September when that window closes with Transfer Daily. So make sure you check me out each and every day. Keep those comments coming in as well. I'm going to be going through some of those live on the show very, very soon. Um, so picking out some of the best ones. Thanks for watching the show and I'll see you tomorrow. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.